versus, oh yes, Republicans take the high road, pass it through the House, and they're waiting for the, of course, Democrats to kill that debt deal, mm -hmm, like they have in the past. Oh, but the big news, of course, is McCain calls the Tea Party hobbits? Hmm, I think somebody's asking for their money back. Well, now, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And even though Obama has no plans to solve the debt problems, he is still America's greatest president. Well, yes, because he's maneuvered the Republicans into a situation where the Republicans are going to be blamed for everything. Let's see, Obama has no plan. Oh, I, I, I know Rex has got to count. You don't want him to, because Rex admires him. Rex is a, like Bill O'Reilly, he worships the ground that Obama works on, so he covers you. He has no plan for solving it. We're going to get together in a room and we're going to talk like adults. And we're going to solve this problem after you give me the tax hikes. Mm -hmm. That ain't going to happen, folks. We, no, Obama, the, the people, the field reporters are starting to get pissed. What's your plan? What does the president want to do? And he said, well, we're going to get together in a room and we're going to discuss it like adults. His latest thing is, you have your balanced approach because, uh, he, and the millionaires and billionaires and hedge fund managers, shared responsibility, that is gone because the comics are having, you know, I love that, the, you know, okay, shared responsibility. I take all of my money out of my pocket and you share it. Mm -hmm. That's how you, that didn't go over well, so that didn't play well. So now it's balanced approach, which is basically all taxes and no cuts. But he, you know, because he, he can't cut anything. If he cuts anything, he's got no chance with the left to get in. That's the only people he's got left supporting him is the left. So. And Asian stock markets sink over U.S. debt crisis fears. Well, yeah, but today the market has went up on the most exciting news that they've had in a while. Less than 400,000 people applied for unemployment insurance. The only problem being is the reason they didn't apply for unemployment insurance is because they dropped off the rolls. Not because of the fact that they're not unemployed. Mm. But that, they'll readjust it. Every, every month they readjust it and the unemployment figure goes up after the readjustment, not down. And IMF chief urges U.S. to immediately resolve the debt spat. Well, that's the, they got, that's, that's the one that replaced the guy that Obama didn't like that was going to be the president of France. Uh, who Obama is still trying to get thrown into jail. I mean, the woman that accused him is now, and wants $10 million, I think. She wants to, you know, uh, wants the prosecutors to help get her money. She's, she's, she's basically lucky that she's still sitting in the country because she pissed the Clintons off because they helped get her in the country. She pissed the State Department off because she lied. She's been laundering money for, for, for drug lords. She was never raped. You know, she, none of, she lied about, she, you know, uh, she basically calmly went to uh, do everything back to work. And then she called her lawyer first instead of going to the police. And U.S. soldier gets life in prison for killing Afghan civilian. I know, which that will be overturned in the court because it, remember right now he's got a hostile court because Obama wants everybody convicted in the military or CIA. And that, that as soon as it goes to the uh, Court of Appeals, they overturn the convictions and throw the people out because uh, you know, what happens is is the civilians are people, I mean I know a guy that uh, basically he was shot from here to here by a little 9, 10 year old with a machine gun in Vietnam. If, he, if Obama had been president and that guy would have shot the kid, it wouldn't have made any difference that the kid fired first, they'd have, they'd have tried him for a first degree murder. Mm. And uh, NATO warplanes destroy radar at Libyan airport. Yeah, which means they can't land planes there anymore. Oh, really? Which means they shut the airport down to any commercial traffic because they can't fly without radar now. That was brilliant. Oh, as this is, they're now referring to it as the war with no end in sight. They said eventually Gaddafi is going to have to give up. Mm -hmm. But uh, eventually, meaning next month? Maybe, Next yeah. year? Well, eventually is now. But it's only costing $100 million a month. Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> and Pesci sues over gaudy biopic role and claims disputed. Yeah, well, because he, he didn't get the role. What happens is Joe, Pes Joe Pesci has been around, put it this way, he's been around since he was a kid actor. He's got an Academy Award. And he knows, he knows the business. If he says he had the role, then he had the role, folks. And now he'll, they'll lose that in court. Oh, really? But it means that somebody bigger came along. 
somebody that is currently hot. But you can't play God. You got to have an older person to play an Pesci, older person. I can see Pesci being naughty. Yeah, because he, he, that's that's his top role. Is he plays a thing. You know, he, he would do a good job on that. One. Actually, he actually isn't what he plays. The guy used to be when he was a teenager was a rock musician. Oh really? And that accent disappears entirely. You know, those D's and D's. They. Uh, he's a very well educated man, just like um, you know. Uh, the guy that was on Who's the Boss, Tony over there, he was, he was an ed, he was a English teacher in college. And gunman kills self, estranged wife, and four others at the roller rink. I know. Uh, the gun, the killings just keep coming. We have to, Obama, I know, I have to cover Rex's ears. Obama is, Obama is focusing on, we have to take control of the gun situation in this nation. Every day, innocent people are being killed because of guns. We must do something about I don't believe in taking guns from the people, but we have to make it more difficult for the people to get the guns. We need stronger background checks. We need to make certain that you can't go somewhere and just buy a gun, which means he wants to stop guns, which is not a re Everybody, I mean, he, 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 he is, um, this is what you call, he's preaching to the, you know, to the his cheerleaders. These people are going to vote for him anyway. The people he needs are the ones he's pissing off. This man cannot win re-election with the independence saying, I want to take your guns away and you're going to have to give me more of your money. Mm -hmm. so. And illegal immigrants prepare to flee Alabama ahead of new law to look out. I know. Oh, it's a Democratic-controlled legislature passed a law that basically tightened up everything on... They're getting tired of the illegals flocking into all of these states. Everywhere where there's a loose welfare system, the the people from out of this country flock into by the masses. And you know, well, wouldn't you think that if they're hardworking like they say they are, they'd be going to the states where the jobs are? No, they're going to the states where the best welfare system is because these are the people that didn't want the people that want to work are really industrious and they work. The people that don't want to work go to the welfare states. And Strauss Khan accuser meets with pro prosecutors. Oh yeah. She wants the prosecutors to bring charges which they couldn't win in a million years because they're trying to figure out whether to indict her for perjury with the grand jury. You know, so this is a person who can't, they can't get a grand jury indictment. They can't get a judge to issue an indictment. They get, the guy is out now just on house arrest. They've returned his bail money. So you think that they're, they're, they're even going to bring him to court? No. Because the woman can't test him. She's, she's on the verge of being thrown into jail and trying to get people to prosecute the guy. Oh, yeah, and I've been watching her on the news like, oh, the poor lady. This is on the entertainment news stuff. I, I know. She had to come forth and let everybody know who she was. The people on the left aren't even so... Didn't she lie to everybody? I know. Okay, if she lied about one rape, she might lie about another. And then the fact that the first thing she did was to call a lawyer, not call the police, not call the hotel, but call a lawyer that basically does litigation against people. Anybody? Okay. When I was young, they used to call the thing like that called the Badger Gang. Basically, really? people in hotels would be, you know, would jump a guy that come to the hotel and then they'd, well, we're going to have to tell your wife or your employer so then they'd pay off. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So when you go to a lawyer whose job it is to litigate in situations like that, means you've got one in your back pocket already. Yeah. Educators in Atlanta, cheating scandal told quit or be fired. Yeah, well, they said George Bush is responsible for this. He set standards that were too high to be met. Well, you had to learn how to read, write, and do mathematics. Mm -hmm. Those were standards that were too high for the teachers to reach. Exclusive. Facing criticism, M-E-R-S -E cuts rolling foreclosures. Uh, yeah, basically uh, what happened is is that the Obama administration is trying to... You know, okay, Bank of America is now giving people homes. They are? are I they want paying, my free home. Uh, you know, we need, we're going to talk to Bank of I America. I want my free home. home. They said they're homes that are in bad shape. Uh, so they're either giving people homes that, you know, are they paying like $7,000 to demolish them. We, we're going to talk to Bank of America about getting a home from them. We're their home because we, want to, we want to take a home and rebuild it, folks. 7,500 earthquakes shake resolve in North New Zealand City. Oh, the earthquakes are, okay, I'm going to try to explain things again. We have a lot of earthquakes in California by Kalinga. 
Kalinga is where Signal Hill is, where basically all the oil was pumped out of the ground. When you pump all the oil out of the ground, it leaves a great big hole. And that the uh, physics being physics, it all goes to the lowest plate. You know, everything fills in. We also take water out of the ground. In New Zealand, Australia, they draining every. That's not oil. They're draining water out of the ground, and those leaves huge cavities. Those cavities then collapse, and one collapse leads to another, to another, to another. So you got lots of microquakes. Sony posts 59 percent drop in quarterly profit. Oh, the Sony company is tanking. I mean, we people we know are Sony no longer. Basically, they don't even talk to us anymore. I know. We used to get I don't know if they're talking to people in general. They don't want to talk to anybody because they're going to ask them what's going wrong. It has, it has to do the hacking thing and then being hacked again and hacked again. That killed them. We've told people don't get internet connected devices because you, if you firewall them, it makes the device not work right. And a Monty bubble isn't from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Uh, don't believe it when they tell you the computer isn't your enemy.